Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Well, no, or you may not know. Huamoko is an interesting group of doggies, doggos, whatever you want to call them. There are twin dogs who were, you know, previously also were twin girls for uh, Gogo Nippon. Uh, everyone knows about this by now, but right now they are as uh, Hollow Life people. They are amazing. They do great work. They are very lovable, very uh, friendly, very just so, so heartwarming. And so good with their fans. I mean, they're amazing with their fans. But there's been an issue that's been happening recently because they moved to Japan. So people are starting to think or starting to say at least that maybe that move to Japan means that they're going to start becoming part of more Hollow Live JP and ignoring the EN fans because of the times that they that they post, the times that they do everything. And um, here's a Chris, the Hollow Pro Simp, one of the people that actually talks about this. Looks like the Clover site is on full scale attack, so beware of sudden containment breach of the hate against these two doggos. These dogs are my greatest gifts, but if anything happened to them, I would blank everyone in this room and myself. And it continues to say, for context, ever since the doggos moved to JP, they started to stream JP more and more and collab with more JP memes. Apparently, some alleged fans, quote unquote fans, they're aunties that just want to create chaos. They just want to create chaos for these girls. Find it bad because they abandoned EN. And then it got to a point one of them sent a red super demanding an answer, which they actually responded to. They spent some comments actually reassuring the fans that they are not neglecting EN fans. And now the Clover site is filled with bait threads. Clover site being 4chan. Filled with bait threads to try making EN fans against JP and causing hollow civil war S. So they're trying to create hatred. They're trying to create with one of the most lovable and amazing little doggos that you can have. I mean, you look at them, you see their streams. They love their fans. They love EN and JP fans. They love everybody. I've seen full Moko clips. They're very cute. The Hawa and the Noah, Noah from a freaking uh, from uh, Mokoko. Fortunately, it's not common here yet, but be prepared. Uh, let's say as and as for my opinion, they are free to collab with whoever they want as long as they're having fun. First, they want not to collab with males. Now they want them to not collab with JPs. F antis uh, in disguise. I'm telling you. Yeah, they're antis in disguise because no actual fans are going to be like, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. Restricting them means restricting the enjoyment that people will have with them. It means restricting what is going to be going on. You know, the fun that people are going to be having. You, If you're a fan, you do not do this. If you are a parasocial person, you do this. If you are someone who's trying to parasocially be uh, behind this type of stuff, you go ahead and do this. It just means you got to go back to holodecks and pray for live TL chads to be around. Uh, other people are saying down here, further on, it says, if this was about them collabing with guys, I could see it since there will always be unicorns, but I haven't seen a single actual holo enjoyer that wouldn't want to see and collab more with JP girls. Exactly. This is just some random JP person. This is just some random uh, maybe Niji Sanji lover who decides to want to create a war. And also there are just some people who want to see the world burn. So this could be a situation where someone just wants to see the world burn. Let's hope that it's that way. Who could even hate on the doggos? It's not exactly what I was saying. Isn't it the crossover of Ian and JP exactly what so many people want though? This, this uh, Zelvamist. So they're mad about what exactly getting exactly what they asked for because it's Ian they're molding. Wants JP and Ian to mix. They mix, in, but in JP. No, not like that. Exactly. They're really enjoying all the JP men collabs they've been doing. Plus, like, moving to Japan doesn't change who they are. It doesn't change who they are at all. I don't understand why a anyone would be upset over this. Should also be concerned about various drama tubers looking for ways to ramp up going after Hololive. Some of them have been deleting comments and blocking users after getting negative feedback for what they're doing. I get negative feedback all the time. I don't delete comments. The only ones that I don't let through are ones that are actually verbally attacking someone using slurs and using racial epithets, using that type of stuff. Those are the ones that I don't let going through. I don't let that happen. I don't let that go through. I YouTube actually prevents them from going through to begin with and then has them go over for me for, um, you know, revisions. And I usually delete them because anything that goes that way 
and I'm pretty sure Hollow Live and Cover does the same thing. Uh, it's it's for the best of the girls. These obviously these sister astral turf. They've been trying face connect grifter angle, and it says right here, me when women who ha live halfway across the effing planet don't produce the exact content. I want never deviate from the formula I've created in my mind for them to follow. Mods, uh, the, the live Mokoko reaction. Moshi's having fun collabing with other Oshis. Yeah, people in general are are not seeing this as anything positive. It is not anything positive. It is just a negative side of the community. You're going to have haters all the time. You're going to have people disliking what you do all the time. It's just going to be one of those things, unfortunately. Hello, hello, everyone. This is what we're talking about right now. As we all know, False ID had gotten messages about getting certain things removed from WeebCon. We've gone over this before. Basically, someone from WeebCon told him that if WeebCon didn't get those removed, Nidhi Sanji did threaten to make sure that they would never get a VA or a, a Japanese uh, artist or anything like that again. Now, this could be torturous interference. This is definitely business interference, but that's something that Nidhi Sanji gets to the side. He removed it. The person from WeebCon thanked him, and then we moved on. Now, this person, Bint Bantome, which is N Binted, which is the person who is a avid hater of... Uh, False says, okay, let's talk about it. False ID scoop when Niji threatening a con over him is built on the assumption that False being a serious non-threatening figure. Reputation has dismissed since it, this exchange. Very noticeable how prominent people associate with him less and less. This is, of course, a needy sister that is just making connections in their head. False got on their bad side for bringing attention to a liver getting doxxed. He had cl to close his anti niji thread because it was filled with harassment and slander. He tried to dogpile small accounts had to delete a post where he did an R failed dox attempt on me. Jakarta time, not beating the allegation sisters. Uh, I don't think that's a dox attempt. I think a lot of times your your time will be shown. Like I have Pacific st dark, daylight time. Okay. Yeah. That's not, that's not anything big. That's not a big thing. He recently personally participated in a document slandering a liver, collaborating with a woman who didn't. Oh, this is the Raziel one who didn't let on that she was extremely possessive of him from a very young age, decided it was appropriate to disclose his family trauma and years old private gossip about livers. He was publicly accused of enabling tra the, the, the phobias um, and his server during the Hogwarts legacy situation. And numerous people publicly posted about feeling unsafe in the server. He responded with silence. During the weekend of Holofest, I don't know if any of these are true. These are all accusations that don't have any kind of proof behind them. During the weekend of Holofest, arguably the biggest VTuber event of the year, this is the video false put out. It's not mentioned in the thumbnail, and you can't even see it mentioned in the title unless you open the video. Leading story, F YouTube play buttons. I don't think so. I don't think that's what it was. This one probably was just, you know, the YouTube play buttons, the fact that Nidhi Sandy doesn't get them. As I talked about it earlier, he steals art without credit from people who are still in the Nidhi community and don't want their art being used for these purposes. False ID. Uh, the, this is a personal vendetta, it seems like. You want to talk about how you stole fan art without the credit for express purpose using any ways that are directly against the wishes of the original artist. We don't know because we don't know that. I don't know the artist uh, or the person who commissioned it. This is Zion Fire. I don't think anyone that has this whole Zion Fire thing is going to be against using it in the congratulations part. Um, false, despite not being professional journalist, not discerning crucial questions, um, is incredibly thin skinned at taking bad criticism. As I spoke of earlier, he's mis making a passive aggressive comment, doubling down after I flat out called him out for an embellishing, according to what he's, he's saying here. Let's see what she says. Something I didn't notice in the latest false ID video. He uses the term fire sale to refer to Nidhi Sanji putting out a lot of goods. That's just a lie. It's not exaggeration or interpretation. Literally just saying the company is going through bankrupt because he wants it to. So he's just angry because he used fire sale. Nidhi halts life support sale. That's exactly what I put on mine. I mean, that's what they call it. They call it life support. But the thing is, life support in what context? In this case, it wasn't life support as in life support for the company. It was life support as in supporting your life, supporting things that happen during the life. I'm just letting you know that's exactly what it was meant for. It's a literal translation. It's quite literally a literal translation. I use the same type of thing on mine. Um, people are going to take it as they want. He didn't mean it as that, but people are going to take it as they want. So it's extremely ironic that False ID would put out a video trying to prove that Niji Yen is losing influence as he embarrasses himself refusing to acknowledge how little important people like Kudo respect him, how little he actually is trusted by people who know more than him. But they take it as not involving me, others see it as a different way. It reads to me as vague tweets on top of vague tweets. Is he talking about someone specific? Many people, those just on Twitter, others brings up many more questions. There are other things I could get into in the server obsessive amount of, of volume of Niji videos and videos that clickbait about agency drama, neglecting a lot of stories along the way. But suffice to say, false ID is not as respected as he was a year ago, with a good reason. 
When was the last time you saw Iron Mouse and other prominent figures who were friendly with False ID once upon a time even acknowledge his existence in public? Maybe he should look at himself and he, and doors closing at himself first. I don't think it has anything to do with that, honestly. I think it's just people are busy with their own stuff, and he's busy with his own stuff. TLDR, False ID isn't a serious journalist. He's a gossip-obsessed, thin-skinned little boy. Oh, God, man. This person is really aggressive. Holy crap. Operating on grudges and fin financial incentives, who doesn't hide the sick thrill he gets out of even the most upsetting stories that vindicate him. So yes, I think he deserves to be shunned. This is this is a long diatribe about this. He blocked me for I assume this since I didn't have much interaction with him. The only other drama tuber I interacted with with Kyo. Yeah, it's broadcasted on JP streaming services and Billy Billy, which means it will adhere to rather strict anti-piracy laws. Why are you acting like this is a thing worth mocking? And this person said, in regards to the no screenshot clips rule, this has to do with Japan's extreme anti-piracy laws. It doesn't have anything to do with Niji. You can still capture and share from the free side. That's what people are saying. And I guess, you know, false ID blocked him, I guess. I guess that's what ended up, these people are saying. I mean, nothing more is going on here. He knows nothing about business and should not talk about it. A fire sales, everything goes fast. Like, there's no reason to believe the finances need he's bad. They're not going to go down. They're kind of at the point where it's too big to fail. Yeah, I think even the government might bail them out if they if they really do go bad in those type of situations because they hire, they, you know, have a lot of people. They have a lot of income. They have a lot of money that gets, you know, put into the local governments. So this is just a huge thing on false and uh, with some false information in there. No pun intended. Grums is a journalist who used to be a designer, former team lead of OG World of Warcraft, producer Diablo 2, Starcraft, etc., etc. He's done a lot of things in the world recently. Uh, he has recently turned into a persona non grata, enemy number one, whatever you want to call it. This um, Gremio said, I'll raise $50,000 to anyone in the A Coalition not being represented because a Twitch streamer appeared to joke about placing a $30,000 bounty on somebody, on a creator, which is Grums, here, uh, and then deleted all clips of the incident and amid calls for her ban. Because yes, if you do this, you're actually asking for someone to get hurt. This is not good. This is aggressive. This is violent. This is not good. Oh my God, I DM'd you. Um, I'll raise it to 50K only because the A Coalition is not being represented. Mark Kern Grums, 50K reward, says my bounty is up to 50K. Kotaku Senior Editor celebrates. Will there be repercussions in the world of professional journalism? Nah, I better get back to writing guides. At this rate, I will be king of the pirates in no time. So yeah, and people say, you don't say. I already know no one is going to face consequences even though it's a federal crime. We live in a society. It is a federal crime to do this, to put bounties on anyone's head. It's not good. It's not good for the community. It's not good to joke with. It's not good at all. I firmly, firmly just, no. This is no. We have Doki Bird, Fillion, Pippa, Lumi. They're all currently right now, as of writing this at least, as, as of putting this out there, they all are playing Monopoly. From what I've last heard, Philian is losing and uh, she doesn't want to accept it. Basically, Doki Bird is crazy in there because Doki Bird is a fun VTuber to watch. I try to be fun too, but I, I don't have the voice. I don't have the voice for funniness and all that kind of stuff. So I, I do my best. I do what I can. But uh, here we are <clears throat> with Doki, Lumi, Pippa, and Philian. Nita sisters are fuming. They're saying that this is, you know, it, it sucks for the fans of Doki Bird and then, you know, this and this and that. It, it, they're really fuming. They don't like it at all. Already been happening. A ton of this is last straw. I tried to like you from Nita sisters as if they ever gave a darn. Not even about Pippa or Doki. It's about protecting the brand they've latched onto. If it was Enner or Rosemary, they still S on them for streaming with anyone who doesn't blindly support the Corpo. So it says, Pippa, Doki, Fillion, and Fillion Doki, way too much chaos for one stream. Poor Lumi. Lumi's going to be in pain. I want Pippa to start talking about the feds again. Fillion loses while well, Fillion loses her mind, yes. Meanwhile, Doki is just there laughing at the chaos. So far, they talk about Obama, the moon landing, EDP, toasters, Comcast, and capitalism. Holy crap. So it is, as of one hour ago, it is insane. It is crazy. Fillion brought up the, oh God, Jesus, he brought up the, the, the chair, the chair. I have it in the background right now. So far, it's a lot of screaming and reading the game instructions. Uh, it was chaos from the second they started. Goodbye, speakers. Hello, hearing loss. Pippa had to end stream due to scuff. They're all still playing, but I think only Philly and Doki are streaming. Most epic collab out there is what people are saying. And yeah, this is going to be a good one. This is a good one. And, you know, hope you guys get to see at least the VOD or something. So we here we have Nidhi Sandy Storybugs. Uh, some people were saying that they were getting Zion voice packs and Selen voice packs when they were trying to get something else. Another bug where buying a voice pack with PayPal charges you but doesn't actually give you the receipt email shows up in your purchase history which also got wiped with the update or gave you any voice packs at all there's one twitter user reporting that their address list was fi was filled with someone else's information but i haven't seen anyone report the specific issue uh 
this one here, the banana one. Good thing they deployed during the holiday weekend. This one was saying this says, I was shocked when I looked at the first address I'd added to the Nidisanji official store and thought there were about four addresses I didn't recognize. What's this? A bug? Signs of hijacking? Fighting my way? This is basically someone doing Zion Lanza stuff. Like just showing it. Just showing that they got Zion. They, they try to order some, something different and they got a Zion Lanza voice pack. Uh, they're showing here they got Zion Lanza booting. So this is just weird. Saying, sorry for using a different person's voice, but it seems to be bugged. The second picture shows the contents of a mysterious file. But stranger speaking in English. The stranger is Zion Lanza. We know her as Sayu now. We have this person who blocked it using, looks like, erasers in this case. It is, um, maybe because Nidhi Sanji updated Kaisei Kun's share house and commute to work in high school or somehow Hex and Selen. Voice where didn't buy Hex or Selen. Uh, if I report this any kata where they fix it, which is any color, I was able to save it to my iPhone properly before the update, so I think Nidhi Sandy store is what is the cause of it. This part, this is continuing to say, I have already reported this to any color, but Kaisei Kun's voice has been moved to folder EN Seniors. Maybe it won't be possible to respond during Golden Week, but I hope the manager will at least be informed of its issue. So this is a big issue. You th people think like, oh, it's not such a great issue. It's not 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 such a big issue. If you're paying for something and getting something else, that is wrong in in so many ways just wrong in so many ways it's, it hasn't become a big thing this thing has only has 365 views but it is not good this only has 323 views but it's not good and it says high school minimum wage programmers working for small multi-million dollar indie company please understand jfc how does it always consistently keep getting worse don't blame nidhi sanji blame the coders of the website of course but you know nidhi defenders that's what the nidhi defenders will say they're still making money off Zion and Selene. What the F? Yeah, it's a bug. Weird effing bug to make it possible to get a terminated Liver's voice pack when you're buying a different one's voice pack. It should not be on the website. It should not be an option if you terminated them as you say that you did. If you actually terminated them, which you did, and you actually don't want them to be in your company, which, you know, termination does, you should not be able to have that as a purchase. On to independent VTuber news. An Shannon, formerly Siska Lee and Tyne of Nidhi Sanji ID, has joined a VTuber agency, Alka Virtual. So this is their um, their thing that, that they have. Let's watch it real quick. A new dawn rises. I'm not putting the music because a lot of times it is copyrighted. Embark on a new journey. Uh, there we go. Shannon. An Shannon. She's she's from formerly from Nidhi Sanji. We have Cole, which is, you know, a dude, which is good. They have male in there. We have Carissa, Charlotte. And we have another, it looks male. Nope. Female PU as well. Oh, they have more. Violetta Calitrix. Nice. A cat VTuber. These five will be uh, uh, appearing apparently. Aka Virtual. So that's good. Honestly, I don't know how much about Aka Virtual, but they seem to have a history of adopting Indonesian indies. Uh, hopefully this works out for her. She's going to be collabing with Michi soon. As long as they remember to pay her taxes. Of course. As long as they remember to pay taxes. Virtual is the second biggest VTuber agency in ID right now. Aka Virtual. Oh, okay. So it's the second biggest to be in ID. That's very good. Nice to see Shannon and Carissa manage to join an agency again. Shannon was Siska Leontine, while Carissa was an ex-member of uh, Metonia ID. Metanoia ID. Both their agencies got folded some time ago. Aka Virtual is currently second biggest agency in Indonesia after Hololive ID. It's basically the ID version of Vishojo. They signed indie VTubers and provide them with adequate supports. Oh, okay. So it's, it's kind of like a Vishojo for ID. Okay. They also home to ID's biggest male VTubers, Akami, most sub-VTuber, Kobo Kanadu, after Kobo Kanadu, and Hedis, most CCV male VTubers. They also collab with JKT48, which is an AKB48 thingy, Jakarta48, I'm guessing. Their third XDG ID to join an agency. Uh, there was Michi Mochi V of Vishojo and Leth Bonapucci of Production Kawaii. So yeah, this is good stuff. This is very good stuff. I'm very glad that she's able to join an agency that will be able to provide her with support, unlike a certain agency that will not be named. Funny little Rose Lady W. It's a W on the part of Rosemi Lovelock. It says, I was going to stream something else today, but I finally have the full home 3D working. So I'll be playing some GeoGuessr and maybe other stuff. So she finally has some 3D working, which is perfectly great. It's amazing. Be happy your home 3D hopefully is good to go. I already streamed with it a few times since getting it last week. She just didn't have the arms working yet. Rosemi is a fan of Angie, who almost always streams in 3D instead of 2D. Angie's probably a heavy inspiration for Rosemi invested in this. I thought 3D was only possible in studio, but this is good for Rosemi. As long as you have the right tracking and things like that, it's going to be good for Rosemi. You know, it's going to be good. All this means that she's likely to stay with Niji longer, considering that it's probably paid for everything herself. It will be bad to leave right now after getting this. That's her post. Honestly, the chill gaming and Zatsudan streams are the best. Uh, this person here says, nice to hear that your arms work now. Finally, we're seeing your sassy hand. Um... Uh, Finally, the Exodia hands, uh, holy crap, the arms work. So people are happy. 
And I'm happy that Rosami, which is one of the few people who has not done anything negative that I can see on EN, or at least didn't get themselves involved in anything negative. Because I don't know if everyone has done anything negative in EN. A lot of the information out there is a rat. A lot of the information out there is opinion and ideas of what people think it is. And um, right now, Rosami, Scarla, those type of people seem to be kind of out of the, the loop when it comes to the bad things. I think Ray Muendo is one of those two. Mary Marionette, those type of people, as far as I know, haven't done those things. But more so, Rosami and Scarla, who didn't even retweet some of the tweets that Nidhi signed, he was forcing the others to retweet. Today, of course, we're talking about Michi Mochi V. And uh, she is used to be Mickey Melatika. She's now going into uh, Vishojo, but only consider her Michi Mochi V right now. She's no longer Mika Malatika, she's Michi, or Mochi, or whatever you want to call her. She's this person in Fishojo, and please respect her and let her have that. This is just me saying it because it's not good to push old um, old things, like old per PLs, personalities, past lives, whatever you want to call them, into someone or towards someone that is um, living, trying to live a new life. This is what she wrote. She said, I love you, Shoujo, so much. You don't even understand. I feel like I can talk about how kind everyone has been for hours and I won't even do it justice. The talents, the managers, community has been so just so insane. I don't know. I feel crazy. You're making me go crazy. This is the post itself. And it says, crazy. I was crazy once. They looked at me in a, they locked me in a room. In a room with Vichojo. Vichojo made me crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. And it just keeps going and going and going. Of course, Melody is the first one to talk about this. You love me too, right? Even after I destroy your sanity in games. <laughs> They're all in there now. Last Order Films. I'm so happy you found your home, Michi. I'm so sorry Zen is there. Lol JK loves Zen. I'm glad you're, you're getting the support you deserve. This is something that is a recurring theme again and again and again and again. Every single time there is a talent that leaves uh, the, the big black company right now, the, the Kuro Sanji, the Niji Sanji, Niji Kuro, whatever you want to call it. Every time there's a, comp a person that leaves that company, they have not so great things to say in their own way. Their legion either mentioned Hollywood or as uh, Maid Mint said, they gave her cardboard wings, you know, things like that. Or as Mochi, Michi Mochi has said, uh, a past company has, you know, mistreated her in the tax sense. Of course, no brigading, no witch hunts, no none of that kind of stuff, because none of them want that. They want you to enjoy them as their new personas and enjoy them uh, from now on. And I agree. I would agree. Enjoy them for who they are now, not for who they were in the past. Of course, a lot of people are continuing with them because they were someone in the past. So I can understand that point. But my main point is make sure to enjoy them right now as they are when you have them in front of you. So glad you're having a good time. You're surrounded by amazing people who care for you, for you, for, for who you are, laugh with you and be supportive for you. Making memories with them is going to be great. Having fun is the best moment you can have. You know, that type of stuff. People, people really like Mochi. She's very energetic. She's kind of a goofball. You know, she's everything that people enjoy when it comes to a, a creator like this. So yeah, please, you know, like I said, don't bring back the past for them. She just wants to move on in her future and do the amazing job that she is known to do for her current community. There's going to be a short peek into what Michi Moshi V can do when she is unshackled and actually allowed to do what she wants. <clears throat> this is her song. Aishte, Aishte, Aishte. So just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a taste. Of course, go and watch it on Michimo TV's YouTube channel if you want. Um, it's just a little bit of a taste. She is letting herself go. She is letting herself be free. Um, and yeah, it's it's a good cover. It's, I believe um, Narissa Ravencroft did it for English. She did the English version, a translated version. And uh, Michimo TV is doing the Japanese version. But yeah, support her if you want. And <clears throat> because that's amazing. Uh, it's amazing that she can finally do it. And she did it. Freaking Vishojo gave her the freaking music video a lot quicker than uh, Niri Sanji would ever give her the video. Absolutely. Hello, hello, everyone. Everyone knows about Vishojo. Everyone knows what Vishojo does. They are in the business of producing more talents and managing the talents as best they can. And here we have them managing them as, you know, as amazing as they can, which is Nikkei. Nikkei is a very popular uh, 
I think it's all mobile. It's a mobile game. It is basically girls with guns. So it's very fun, very popular. And now they've done something with Zentreya, Iron Mouse, Matara Khan, Project Melody, and Hime Hajime of Ishojo. Let's see what they did. Of course. They have them all in there. Nice. Zentreya has yeah, it's great voice. Yes. Boomstay featuring Party Melody. So they have original songs for them in Nikkei. That is amazing overall. Oh, that's a good singing voice. Holy crap. I didn't, haven't heard Hime Hajime sing before. Very good singing voice. Very good. Matara Khan also has, has a, she's taken advantage of her lower, uh, the lower range of her voice. And Mouse, of course, has a higher range of voice. So she's doing her thing. And that's what's done. And that's what's going on. And of course, below, we have people responding. Everyone sounds fantastic. Holy cow. Thank you for this opportunity. V Shoujo vs. X Nikkei. That's uh, Project Melody. Matara Khan says, let's go. Huge thank you to Nikkei and V Shoujo for this. I'm so excited to hear everyone's songs. Flipsy, which is a, a person who is on a lot of VTubers areas, it says, I can't wait for V Shoujo cake. This is so cool. I'm actually going to scream because Nikkei has a lot of cake. Nikkei has cake for everybody. This is the coolest thing ever. OMG. Ah, I can't wait. This is Finana Ryugo. Uh, the hype is imme immeasurable. It sounds so good. That's my girls. Let's go. Everyone sounds so good, but that Zen clip tingled my effing. <laughs> yes. Okay. It tingled them. It tingled them where, where, where the tingles happen sometimes. And I'm happy that they're doing this because Vishojo is an organization that so far, at the very least on the managing side, managing their talents, they seem to be doing a much better job than they originally did. And uh, everyone had criticisms of it. Every company should be criticized for what they do when they do it. Um, you know, but as long as they're fixing whatever it is that's going on, then that's when we should be giving them another chance. And all the girls seem to be very happy. And this whole thing seems is going to be a success. I'm pretty sure it is. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.